my struggle right now is so real. Okay. Hey guys, probably wondering why I'm throwing stuff around in my room. I'm doing a video called What's in my shower? Basically, you just talk about stuff that you keep in your bathroom. We're gonna do what's in my shower in my room, hence the struggle. So I will just let you guys know products that I have, that I'm using, that I like, that I don't like. Try to do it quick. Sometimes when I'm very cold or very stressed, especially during exam times, I like to take bubble baths. Here's a bubble bath that I actually quite like a lot. Not anything expensive. It's generic brand. It's exact brand. Aromatherapy Foam Bath. This one is in Jasmine and Patchouli. Patchouli? Patchouli? What is that? Patchouli. Patchouli. So that's my bubble bath. Oh, here's something cute. I went to Lush and I got a bath bomb. This one is actually meant for kids, but this bath bomb I bought for $3.25 or something. And it's a little robot. Hold up, lighting. Look, he's a little robot. Isn't he cute? I'm so obsessed with him. He's adorable. So cute. He's supposed to, like, make you sleepy. Like, it's for, like, sleepy time bath. Mm -mm. This is another Lush product. It is Angels on Bare Skin. That's the product. Doesn't that look delicious? I swear to God, it smells really yummy. I don't know. Um, Lavender and almonds. It's just an exfoliator. It smells really nice, but it really doesn't do much for my face, and it was expensive. So I'm kind of regretting that I got this, but I'm trying to use it up, and that's been sitting in my shower. So there you go. Next is EOS Shaving Cream. This one is pomegranate raspberry, and it's like $5, I think. The only reason that I'm completely in love with this is the fact that you can use it on dry skin, and I still don't get cuts. So that's pretty kick-ass. So I do really, really love this product. Next is the Body Shop Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. This is probably the best makeup remover that I have found by far. Next is Tresemme Fresh Start Volumizing Dry Shampoo because my hair is nasty because I can't wash it every day because it's so damaged. So I have to use dry shampoo. Next is my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So this spray I think is like $15 or $20, kind of expensive. Okay. Basically, after I do my makeup, I spray this two to four times on my face, and it makes my makeup last all day. So, I quite enjoy this. Like, last all day, all night, all everything. Just stays. Which is good. I think that is worth $15 to $20. Loofahs are my new obsession. They smell so soapy, I can't even. I love it. I love loofahs. I used to, like, always use a soap bar. Like, honestly, I've just started using loofahs, like, a few months ago. So... This is pretty revolutionary. <laughs> I'm currently using this pink one. St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Exfoliator. I use this, um, I try to use it every morning at least. Really good for getting all the makeup off. The best $4 I ever spent on my face is this product. Um, next is the R&B Hair Moisturizer, which is a leave-in conditioner. And this is not one I bought. This is one that my bestie Hillary gave to me. I haven't used it on my hair yet, clearly. Well, I've used it like once, but I didn't feel a huge difference, so gotta keep trying it. This is just a little towel-y that's white that I like to use to wipe my face. I have a Veet Hair Removal Cream. So this stuff, basically, you lather it on your legs or your arms or wherever you want to remove hair, leave it for three to six minutes, and then scrub it off. I don't like to use this generally, because I've had a time where it actually burnt through my skin a little. Like, it was gross. Like, you could see. It was like something was eating into my skin. Like, I, it was gross. So now I'm like, I don't like to use that very much at all. Next product is not very much left. Contact Solution. I like this brand because it's the only brand that doesn't hurt my eyes. Next is a Lush product I've shown you guys before. You're probably like, why well, I haven't used it up yet? It's the Jumping Juniper Shampoo Bar. It's actually a really good shampoo. There's nothing wrong with it as a shampoo. It's just that it's not moisturizing enough for my quite damaged hair. So I don't use it very often. I lost a little thingy on it because it's crappy quality and it fell off. But this is the Target Cleansing Wipes. I'm almost done these. Thank God, because these suck. Like, these are awful. They... 
make it look like it removed your makeup then you look at the thing and you realize it really took off none of your makeup so I don't know where the makeup goes um probably still on your face it also leaves a very weird residue of like oiliness like it's probably whatever the makeup wipe remover makeup remover stuff is in the wipe probably left over on your face but it feels gross like I, I hate the feeling of it I hate the look of it you're very like shiny not a favorite not a fan next is a couple of proactive products it is the toner and renewing cleanser so I like to use proactive a lot for when I have acne my acne is very stubborn it doesn't go away often like it takes a very long time it's a very trying process proactive is the only thing which very slowly helps but it's the only thing that does show some sort of difference over a long period term compared to anything else I've tried next is a product I kind of completely regret buying some sort of it's neostrata I remember this product I don't know if this is still the price but when I bought it it was about 75 80 dollars Yes, I spent close to $100 on this product and it didn't work. So imagine how pissed I am. So basically, it comes with these crystals, which is just some weird, like super thick kind of, it feels like exfoliator. And this watery stuff, which is an activator, which you put over top of this weird goopy crystal stuff. I don't know. It's just a really rough exfoliator. It's supposed to get rid of any red marks, any scarring, anything like that left over from acne and I see no difference. Here's products that make me super happy though. So my mom got me these a couple days ago because my hair is very, very, very damaged and I was gonna go buy Biolage products, which are $25 for the shampoo and $25 for the conditioner. So $50, I decided to opt for something else that I heard a lot of good things about. It is the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco shampoo and conditioner. Um, so these were $9 for one, $9 for the other at Target. Although this does not get my hair as good as Biolage does in like making it tangle proof, it's quite close. Like it, instead of taking like 20 minutes for me to brush my hair, it takes like three. It is definitely good enough, I think. Um, I will probably stick to this brand even after my hair is done being damaged. Like once it's fixed again, I wanna try other things of this brand because I'm very, very impressed by these products. Also, if you use this product, it smells like bubbles, which I love. I love that it smells like bubbles. Like, so when I use it, I smell like bubbles. It's body wash, cause that goes with loofahs. So body wash is also a new thing for me. Not that I don't wash myself, but I usually use like bars of soap and I did not know different. Here's a couple that I have. This one is the Sheer Freesia one. September favorites. In my September favorites video, you saw the lotion of this. So this is the body wash of it. Very floral and sweet. That's this one. So that's the one that I'm currently using. As you can tell, I've made a dent. I'm proud. And this one is Beautiful Day. I am saving this one because I like the smell of this one more. Mmm, it smells like green apples. These are my body washes. That is everything. That is in my shower bathroom thingy other than like you know my toothbrush and razors and feminine products which I'm not showing you guys cuz ew. if you guys have tried any of these products or anything similar comment below and let me know how they were what they were what did you like about them what did you not like and like this video if you like this video yeah pretty self-explanatory or if you like me or if you like any of these products Please just like my video. <laughs> Most of all, please subscribe to my channel if you do, and I promise there will be more videos. And I love you guys tons, and I'll see you later. Bye guys!